I took delivery of this watch today. Cost me $51,000. Now, I'm not doing this to brag or to boast. I'm doing this to impress upon you why you need to start a business. I'm going to show you me going in, buying the watch, the process, charging my credit card $51,000. Because let, let's go ahead and talk about that. Because I have a business, my American Express Business Platinum, I have a, I could spend $100,000. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. But let's go ahead and roll this beautiful beam footage of me getting this solid gold watch for 51,000. And I'm gonna explain some stuff into you. It's a Rolex Yachtmaster II Regatta Chronograph. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is voice. Um, this is where we charged it to your card. Okay. Then this is your appraisal. Yeah. <laughs> Has model number, serial number, replacement value. That's what you want to submit for insurance. Okay. Okay. Authenticates the watch. It's all set. When I bring the watch back up, I'll make sure you are familiar with that Yacht Master Two on how to set it and okay. wind it and keep it round, all that good stuff. So this is for you. This is actually also for you. It's our thank you note. Let me put my card in there. Traveling is on, but oh. it's just a simple travel box, velvet cloth, keep it nice and shiny. And then this is its original Rolex box. It's the original card, has model number, serial number. It's confirmed with, it's on the watch. It has the date of when it was first sold. Beautiful box. Are you going to wear it out or are we going to put yes, it in the box? Yes, okay, I'm definitely. So we'll take all this back in there. Hold on. There we go. Beautiful box. I'm gonna put the warrant, the card in here. Okay, that's cool. That's where we keep it. So a lot of things practice comes to play. You know, all things considered as far as the box, the card, the mint, there's the All right. Now all we own is a watch. I guess I got to sign the receipt, right? Uh, you did initially. You did. You signed the um, the invoice. Oh, that was the receipt. Oh, for the credit card. Okay. For your credit card. So where's the um, the credit card slip? It's right in here. So that one you don't have to sign because we had your actual card that we were oh. able to put in the. Okay. Cool. All right, thank okay. you. Okay. All right, so yeah, I'm back to showing receipts, but let me explain something to you. And I'm gonna explain some stuff that happened to me this weekend. Let's go ahead and start off with the Porsche. Um, I had to wait a year for that. And this weekend, I looked at a $2.5 million condo and I liked it and I put in an offer and two people put in an offer on the same day. What I want to explain to you is 85% of the people in this country make less than $40,000 per year. So that's a very wide base, right? But if you can just elevate to the $250,000 a year, less than 7% of the people in this country make that. And when you get to seven figures, it's even less than that. 
What I want to explain to you is when you get into business, you actually separate yourself from the masses. This is why you want to start a business. Like, I am starting a new program. Get you rich within three years and get you wealthy within the 10. Now, what is rich? Rich is $250,000 a year gross income. And what is wealthy? Wealthy is $5 million net worth. Now, the 250 will lead you to the path to get to the doorstep of wealth. Because once you go ahead and make some moves, because this is the thing that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be investing our money and we're gonna be increasing our business revenues. So in the end of 10 years, you should be worth 3.5 to $5 million between your business and your assets. Now, there's no program like this on YouTube because everyone is trying to literally BS you that you're gonna be able to buy their program and quit your job in a matter of weeks. Number one, you're not quitting your job. I, I wanna explain to why you're not quitting your job. You quit your job, then you dramatically change your situation because now the business has to support you and the business has to support itself. That's really, really hard for many, many people to pull off. So this is why we're quitting our job. And once again, to be 100% brutally honest, you will be working harder than you ever worked in your life. But this hard, this, this period of hard work, how long is this gonna last? Is it gonna last forever? No, it's not. Uh, it's gonna last about two to three years, depending on the business model that you pick and depending upon your execution level. I had someone in comment who has a cleaning company and they wanna scale up. They got, you, we gotta hire. We're gonna be doing a lot of training how to hire people and build teams because there are 32 million businesses in America, right? Out of the 32 million, 30 million are single person businesses because the vast majority of entrepreneurs do not know how to hire, build teams and scale. Do you know the Fortune, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ? This is literally 10,000 companies around the world. 10,000, and there's no telling how many businesses are around the world. We have 32 million businesses here in America, but the NASDAQ is comprised of companies from around the world and their unique stock exchanges in their home country. But you wanna put yourself in the position where you give yourself options. You wanna put yourself in the position where you can actually live the life that you wanna live. When I was in the storage auction business, I had a pretty good life, pretty good life. And the storage auction business gave me the foundation and the business acumen to become an instructor. Now, this is something that's going to sound a little bit harsh. I don't think that you can be in business for a matter of months then teach someone that business. I don't think so. I think at a minimum, at a minimum, you need to be in the business two to three years before you become an instructor. Why? Let's go ahead and talk about merchant accounts. We have many people here on YouTube who talk about how to get a merchant account, but let me go ahead and go ahead. Because I've been in business and I've had one, two, three, four, five, five merchant accounts, I am a skilled expert on merchant accounts. Number one, when you get a merchant account, you need to tell them the max charge that you're gonna have. If you envision that you one day you're gonna have $10,000 charges, you need to tell them the day you open up your merchant account. Why? Because your merchant account will be underwritten for $10,000. If you tell them the average ticket's gonna be 500 and you start running 10 and $15,000 charges, what they're gonna do is shut you down and they're gonna hold the money. How do I know this? It happened to me. So once again, I don't think that you're gonna have enough business experience to teach someone how to be in business doing it for a few months. Now, before I started teaching business, 
GC Solutions was my first successful business, made $250,000. My second su successful business was the upscale garage sale. So I had not one, but two successful businesses before I came to YouTube. And then my third business, Conundrum Publishing, where I made 1.5 million, um, my, going into my second, going into my third year. And then my fourth business, Disruptive Asset Holding, uh, which has made millions. So I am fully qualified to teach you. Number one, we're restructuring the curriculum. And what you want to get into, because the price is going up January, uh, 1st of February, you want to get in now. So what's going to happen is I'm going to give you all of the old training while I build a new training so you'll be able to compare and contrast the new training compared to the old training and see how much better it is. So everyone that signs up for the bundles below, there's two bundles. There's a business bundle and there is a digital nomad bundle. The digital nomad bundle is the most expensive because this is where I made most of my money. This is where I made most of my money. So what you want to do is pick what you want to do, because at some point, uh, if you're getting the business bundle and you get in, you become a student and I will probably give some kind of discount in the future. If you want to get the digital nomad bundle or I may make some kind of adjustment, I'll let you guys know. But what you want to do is get in today. Now, why? Patrick Bet David did a very good video. He said, there's something that separates the average person from the high achieving entrepreneur. And I 100% agree with it. It was a sense of urgency, taking action. Now, what you want to do is sign up for this training today. Why? Because today is when your two to three year clock starts ticking. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that you're going to be able to buy a gold Rolex. This, this watch was $51,000. I'm not going to tell you you're going to be able to buy a $2.5 million condo within two to three years. But I will tell you, you will be able to do this within 10 years. Now, why is that? First thing is, let's go back to the person who left the comment who has the cleaning company. Starting a business is pretty easy. You go ahead, you get your LLC, you get your EIN, you get your business bank account, you throw up your website, and literally you are in business. Now, that's easy. Filing for your corporate paperwork is easy, getting your EIN is easy, business checking is easy, website, that's all easy. Where does it get hard? Getting customers and hiring people. That's where business gets really, really hard. I will go back into my business background. How did I get started in the world of sales? Cold calling. I became a cold calling expert. I could literally reach anyone, set an appointment with anyone. That was one of the sales skills. That was just one skill set I had to develop. So I had the ability to reach on to, to take a lead, call a lead and convert that into an appointment. The next skill set I had to learn was how to present. That was another skill set. So cold calling, presenting, and the third skill set I had to learn was how to close. That's three skill sets. See, one of the things that this is a distraction is that so many people will tell you, when I learned this one thing, I became rich. Let me go ahead and explain something to you. I have the skill set of prospecting. Well, I'm gonna explain what I do now. I had the skill set of prospecting, had the skill set of presenting, had the skill set of closing. And then when I got in the storage auction business, I had to develop the skill set of how to buy a storage unit, had to develop the skill set how to present online, had developed the skill line, so how to market on Craigslist. You, you, you see, being successful is not this one thing. It is a symphony of multitude of many things. You got your horns, you got your flutes, you got your bass, you got your wood, woodwinds, and they're all playing together to create this harmony. There, there's, there's like literally, now this is what I do. 
because after all of this marketing, I do what's called inbound marketing. I, I, I put up content, people see the content, and at the end of each content, I put in a call of action. And that's how I have made millions and millions of dollars. Now, this is an advanced strategy. It's going to be because all of my skill sets built upon each other, the cold calling, the presentation, the closing. I still use a lot of the early things I developed years ago to this day, because here's what, you know, what I do. I go ahead and post content, call of action, and then I create an offer. Three more skill sets. Notice that it's always seems to be three skill sets you have to develop to be successful. And then I had to develop the skill set of creating online courses. Let's talk about that. Because I always get it like, you know, I should get into creating online courses. That's where the money is. There's uh, two Facebook groups. There's a teachable Facebook group and a think of it Facebook group that is full of people who have created online courses who are struggling to make money. You cannot create an online course and make money if you do not know how to market. You do not know how to present an offer and you do not know how to set up a web. Once again, these three, these three, it, it always seems to be three things you have to do to be successful. So you just cannot throw up a online course and expect to make money without marketing traffic and targeting the right person. So I've literally had many people say, I'm going to group me an online course as if it's easy money. You know what my, my thought was, go ahead and do it. I dare you. I dare you because here's the thing. Number one, when I created this YouTube channel in 2009, I created it as a marketing device for the products that I had yet to create it. Now, why did I do that? I already knew that if I was going to sell something, I had to market it from my experience with GC Solutions, with my experience with the Upscale Garage Sale. I already knew what I had to do. So this is the real time entrepreneur education that you're going to get. You're going to get, cause here's the thing. I don't care if you're washing cars. I don't care if you're hauling, you're taking trash cans to the corner. First thing you need is an audience. That's the first thing. Every business needs an audience. You need a product or service. You need a way to market that. Once again, it's those three things. It keeps being in this collection of three things. So every business needs customers. Every business needs a service, a product, and every business needs a way to market their services or products to the right customer. And I'm about to get into it. So who would these new training programs be? Number one, if you are broke, let me have a message for you. If you're broke, if you're struggling, you're looking for a quick come up, let me explain what you should do. You should get into the money management course, straighten out your finances, get a job and solve that issue before you start a business. Why? Because when you start a business from a place of desperation, because you will see it all over the internet, it's like, yeah, you know, a few years I was, I was a bartender, I was a broke college student and now I'm making all this money. Uh, the lion's share of these people do not make their money from business. They make their money from content creation, which is a totally different business model. Once again, I had one, two successful businesses before I got online. These people's successful business model is being a content creator online, not necessarily telling you the truth, Cody Sanchez, to get views to get an audience. And this is how Graham Stephan got rich. This is how me, Kevin got rich. And this is how many, many people are getting rich from content creation, not actually running a legitimate business that has an audience that sells a product or service and knows how to market to them. So virtually none of these content creators can literally teach you how to start a business and this now they can possibly teach you how to start a YouTube channel, how to create content creation, because that's where they make most of their money. But 
there's a lot of you who don't want to do YouTube. You just want to start a business, get to your $250,000 a year mark and start getting wealthy. And that's perfectly fine. And I'm here to teach you because this is one of the reasons for the rebrand of the channel. And I'm literally resetting the YouTube channel. Since I've changed this to a business and finance channel, literally every time I put up a video, I have people unsubscribing. Yes, because I don't want those people because these people don't want to do the work. So if you're watching this video, if you're a part of the nerd tribe or someone who bought a course, reach behind your back and pat yourself on the back because 10 years from now, your life is going to be radically different. And all of these people who are unsubscribing, because one, one of the things that I had to deal with every day was dozens of rude, stupid, low intellect comments. Since I have reset the channel, I've only had one, and it was during the live stream, one person leave one of those comments. So the resetting of the channel, the rebranding of the channel, the changing of the content, getting away from certain topics and stuff is actually working. And I'm about to go ahead and tell you what the future holds for me. By doing this, I'm gonna make more money than I've ever made in my life because here's the thing, I understand business. I don't need 100,000 customers to make $10 million. I need 1,000 of the right customers to make $10 million. And this is the training, because see, one of the things is I'm actually doing this. I can teach you how to start a business from scratch. I can teach you corporate structure. I can teach you how to pick. And let's, let's talk about that. A lot of people are looking for a trendy, flashy business, right? I'm gonna teach you to do the converse of that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna teach you, I'm not gonna teach you to do Toro. I'm not gonna teach you to do Airbnb. I'm not gonna teach you Amazon FBA. Obviously, I think all of those business models suck. I want to teach you how to start a business that takes advantages of your strengths. Because, you know, everybody, because I'm going to create some training on how to figure out what's the best business for you for, based upon your strengths and natural resources. Because right now, literally, there are many, many Airbnb hosts who have taken their house off Airbnb and they're trying to turn it into a furnished long-term rental. I've been studying this for months. The Airbnb middle market is completely and utterly saturated. The destination market, the luxury market, those markets are still booming. If you have an Airbnb in Florida near Disney and you have a Toro car rental business in Disney, more than likely you'll do well. But if you have an Airbnb in Omaha, Nebraska and a Toro rental business in Omaha, Nebraska, more than likely you're gonna struggle. And we're gonna talk about how to judge what kind of market should you start your business. Because this is the thing, if you start a business, you need to know is your market growing or is your market dying? Like me, let's talk about me. So I'm putting out business training that is designed for the rookie person. This business training is designed for the person who's never run a business, for a person who's never had an LLC, for the person who's never started a business. This is what this training is for. And I'm gonna create some advanced training for people who already have businesses. But this training is gonna take you from the bottom, like where you are. And we're gonna talk about where you should be because I'm getting ready. And also, let's talk about the blog. The blog has different content than the YouTube channel. That's intentional. Why am I gonna put the same content on the blog and do the same content on the YouTube channel? That's redundant. So you should be watching the YouTube videos and you should go to the blog because my nerd tribe is gonna love this blog because we're gonna dive into some deeper topics, we're gonna dive into some deeper issues and we're going to make you successful. That's the goal, to make you successful. Now let's talk about online consults. Uh, one of the reasons I've gotten away from online consults, and I will tell you this if you wanna get into coaching, 
that one-on-one -on -one coaching without an extraordinary price tag is very hard to scale. Now, if you're charging 10 to 10,000 to 100,000 for your coaching pro program and you get 10 clients, 10 clients is 100K or 10 clients is a million dollars. That makes sense. But to get on the phone hour after hour for 500 bucks, um, that's very hard to scale because one of the things if you notice that I've gotten away from one-on-one -on -one consults, I will do group coaching. I would do live coaching where I have a bunch of people that I could, cause that's scalable. And that's one of the reasons that I've gotten away from doing one-on-one -on -one consults because typically it's not in your best interest because I'm going to explain to you why. And it's not in my best interest because number one, I can't scale it. Why is it in your best interest? You're going to need more than a one hour conversation to be successful. And now if you are already a business owner and you've had a level of success and you need to fill in a few gaps and online, a phone conversation might be beneficial. But if you're just a rank raw rookie, literally for me to do consultations with you would be me taking advantage of you because I know you need more. There's so many things you need to know. And that's why online coaching uh, during a group um, training such as Zoom or webinar in the training course is the best thing for the beginning business person. And that's what we're going to do because um, I've learned a lot and I'm going to be talking about some stuff because I'm getting ready to set up some training courses for people who were in the intellectual property school who are going to move to the digital nomad school and it's going to literally knock off your stocks because i have been working on this for months and one of the, one of the things whether you pick the business regular business course that's going to knock your socks off whether you pick the digital nomad that's really going to knock your socks off and one of the things that you have to do, and I'm probably going to make a third option and I'm going to post it. I'm probably going to make a third option, including the regular business courses and the digital nomad and put all that together for the people who want both. So if you want to begin that three year clock, you want to sign up today and what you're going to get today. You're going to get all of the old courses so you can initially get started immediately. You're going to get the money management course. You're going to get the old money management course and you're going to get the new stuff. So you can go ahead and get on that immediately. And then we're going to start doing live training this week. Today is Monday. The live training will probably happen Thursday and I will pick a day and every day and every, every day at that time, we will have the live training because one of the things I've learned from creating online courses and doing training is you just can't keep moving stuff. You have to pick a set time and stick to it to help people out. And it might be Sunday because football season is almost over and this is the perfect time to go ahead and get this online training going. So I will pick a day and I will send out these emails. So. You want to go ahead and have a sense of urgency and get this started because it's going to take you three years. It's going to take you two to three years. And, and why, why, why do I say two to three years? This is the thing. When you start becoming successful, like I see myself being 76 years old driving a Porsche. Once you start to develop these appetites, you can't go back. So I want to set you up where you go ahead and create a system where you're making money and each year your money increases so you can enjoy this lifestyle because you don't want to go back. I can't go back. I cannot go. I'm breaking my lease to get out of here because uh, I want to expand my situation and I have the disposable income to pay those fees and not even miss the money. And I want you to be in that situation. And this is the thing, you can be in that situation if you, number one, are ready to do the work, number two, receive the right training, number three, adjust and revise as you learn. Those three things 
you can be making $250,000 a year within the next three years. So go ahead, sign up for the courses today and I will go ahead and there will be the business course, there will be the digital nomad course and there will be the third one where you can get both. So go ahead, jump in that and I will see you for this training because like to be able to go into a store, drop your credit card down and make a $51,000 purchase easily, that can be your future. And once again, let's say maybe you don't, you don't want a Rolex. Maybe you don't want to drive a Porsche. Do you want to send your kids to private school? Do you want to have a situation where you're married and your wife doesn't have to work? There's so many things that you can do. So go ahead, sign up today and you will get all of the old training. And I've already decided this Sunday we will have the first live training. And for everyone that signs up this week and for everyone that's in the older courses. So this Sunday we, we will have the live training and I will send out an email and I will go over everything that we need to go over. But once again, this can be yours if you want it. The Porsche can be yours if you want it. But you have to understand it's going to take time. You can do virtually anything within three years. And in 10 years, you can become a billion, a millionaire. I almost said billionaire because the word so, but in 10 years from today, 10 years in the future, you can be a millionaire. And what, what does that look like? And this is the kind of millionaire I'm going to teach you how to be. I'm going to teach you to be the kind of millionaire that has six figures in your personal checking account and seven figures in your business checking account. We're going to be loaded with cash. I'm not going to teach you how, you know, I'm going to teach you at some points how to be an asset based millionaire because that's part of it. That's smart. That makes sense. But I'm going to teach you how to develop a cash flowing business so you can have cash in your personal account and you can have cash in your business bank account. And oh man, when we get to the business credit training, this is literally going to blow your mind. So go ahead, sign up today.